Welcome to Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Valsang. In this video, I will describe the general format of a statistical table and also explain the various components. The general format of a statistical table is an important two marker. So as you see on the screen, Every statistical table will have a table number. Then we have the title followed by the head note or the subtitle. Then you can observe that we have the row headings which are called as stubs and column headings which are called as captions. Then we also have the total column and the total row. And you observe that there are many squares or rectangular boxes which are called as the cells below the table you have the footnote and the source usually if no data or numbers are filled in the rectangular or square boxes it is filled with blanks i will now explain the different parts of a statistical table First, we have the table number. Every table should be assigned a number in order to distinguish and also for easy reference. Usually, the table number is written at the right-hand corner at the top of the table. Second, we have the title. Every table should be given a title. The title should briefly explain the contents of the table. Usually, the title is written in capital letters and appears above the table. Next, we have the head note or subtitle. The head note is usually written below the title within brackets and is a brief explanatory note or statement. The units of measurement such as centimeters, kilograms, millions of tons, crores of rupees, etc. are mentioned here. Next, we have captions. Captions are column headings and these indicate the contents of each of the columns. There can be one or more columns and this depends on the data which is available. The column headings are usually written in smaller letters as compared to the title. And captions is an important one mark question. We have stubs. Again, stubs is an important one marker. They are row headings. They are written in the extreme left of the table and each row heading explains the contents of each row. The number of rows in a table depends on the data available. Then we have body of the table. This is the most important part of the table which contains numerical data. If any of the cells do not have a numeric value, then we put a dash or NA that is not applicable. Footnote. It is generally written below the table. Any information which is missing in some parts of the table can be mentioned in the footnote. Any conclusions, remarks, inferences, omissions, additions, abbreviations, etc. can be mentioned here. Eighth are the sources. Below the footnote or below the table, the sources that is the journals, periodical reports, hospital records, office records, etc. from which the data is obtained may be mentioned here. To practice writing the statistical table and also learn its various components thoroughly, thank you all for watching and look out for my next video which I will be posting shortly.